right UX designer versus software engineer. Give me three minutes and hopefully I'll be able to explain it as simply as I can. So UX designers and software engineers are two different jobs. This is in large companies. So um, what you so when you de develop and design a product, you go through different stages. UX designers work at the very beginning of the creation process and they effectively take a problem into kind of like a design. So they get to that problem by talking with customers. They could uh, talk to people in the business and they really need to find out what problem they're trying to solve for. And they've got a whole UX methodology for doing this. They do interviews, they do surveys. And once they understand the problem, they then take it through a design process where they do sketches, wireframes, and they're constantly testing with the users because it's cheap to do so. They can throw it away before it gets to a point where they have a design ready in Figma. Um, this could be a specialized UI designer in the bigger companies. They have more specialities. So they have UX researchers. UX design is a wider field uh, and UI design can be put into that. But they're all designers. So there is no code involved at this stage. It's effectively just a blueprint. It could just be a sketch. But the more detailed uh, you give to the developer, the more likelihood it's going to look like what you design. So the developer is a person who takes the plans from uh, the architect, which is the designer, and then they then figure out how to make those plans. So they use web technologies, they'll use CSS for all the styling, they'll use HTML for the actual layout, and they'll use JavaScript for the interactive elements. So they take the design and then they create something. They also work with backend developers, people who work in Java and C++ for doing some of the, the more complex things a website or a tool might use with databases and stuff like that. But this is all done in code and the output of this should basically look identical to what the designer gave them. If they have problems, they talk to the designer along the way. So that's how it works in big companies. But this is where it gets a little bit messy. The smaller companies, the startups who don't have as much money, sometimes try and combine these roles. So you'll see a UI, UX developer sometimes advertised and they're, they're basically essentially asking you to do the whole process. Some people can do the process, but more large established companies break this down into specialities. So it's up to you. If you enjoy doing coding, but you also enjoy talking to people and uh, doing design, then you could learn it all. But then you'll want to work in a startup and a smaller company. If, if you want to specialize and just talk to people, then you want to do UX research. If you want to do some design work, then you want to be a UI UX designer, which might incl include some of the user interface elements. So there we go, 11 seconds left. I hope that explained it. Let me know in the comments what you think.